Assalamualaikum. Hi guys, this is Sarah. You also know me as the Feudal Cert. Today I am going to tell you guys about how I came to Islam, my conversion story. Um, I'm going to get right into it and go real quick so that uh, you guys aren't s stuck here listening to me forever. Alright, so um, I discovered Islam when I was 14 years old. Um, that seems like a pretty young age, and I think that it actually is a pretty young age to discover, um, the religion that you want to choose. Um, I actually wasn't looking for a new religion. Um, I was researching Christianity, uh, because I used to be a Christian, um, of the Baptist sect, and um, I I was happy with Christianity, and um, so I wasn't looking for a new religion, and I was reading the Bible and things like that, and um, so I actually kind of happened to stumble upon Islam by accident, which sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Um, and, uh, so, I was on the swim team, uh, and at my school, and so I was at a swim meet one day, and we have large concrete steps, um, at our, um, aquatic center that we go to, um, for swimming, that, uh, the spectators can sit on, and you can sit on if you're a swimmer, usually swimmers sit higher up with our bags and stuff like that, and, um, so I was sitting on top of these concrete steps, and I looked down, and I saw one of my friend's mothers, and he told me his mom was going to be there that day, and I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> and, um, so, uh, I looked down, and she was wearing hijab, and, um, that was when I kind of thought, like, I wonder why she wears that. I had never really put thought to it before, because, um, unless you're, like, actually looking, it's kind of hard to spot a hijabi where I live. Um, but, like, now that I'm thinking about it, I, like, look around and see hijabis all the time, which is actually kind of funny. Um, uh, and I'm not sure what all the time means to everybody else, but, you know, pretty often. And, um, so I thought, like, I wonder why she wears that. And so later that night, I was at my mom's work. Uh, my mom used to make me stay at her work with her for three hours at a time or so. And so I was sitting there. I had finished my homework. I was bored. And, um, so I got on my phone, uh, which had internet access on it, and I googled why do Muslim women wear, uh, I didn't say hijab, sorry, headscarves, and, uh, because I didn't know what it was called, and, um, so that led me to the Wikipedia page, where, uh, I started reading about it, and it sounded kind of interesting, and, um, but, uh, you know how on Wikipedia, uh, certain keywords that lead to another article are highlighted, and you can click on them. So, I forget what word interested me, but I clicked on another word, and then, so I started clicking on different words that led to, um, different things, and, um, one of them was the page for, um, Abrahamic faiths, because it said that Islam is one of the Abrahamic faiths. And, um, I didn't know what that was. And so I went on that page, and it said that Islam, Judaism, and Christianity are, um, three faiths that belong to the kind of clump called Abrahamic faiths. And, um, basically faiths who worship the God of Abraham. And so, um... I was like, wow, I, I didn't know that. Like, I always thought, like, Allah was some, like, far-off, distant thing that, you know, 
they do that thing and we do our thing, you know. Um, <laughs> so funny thinking about it now, because I used to be kind of freaked out by the word. I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? So, um, but then I was like, oh, okay, like I get this now. I never knew what Muslims worship before. And so, um, I, that really interested me, and then, um, when it got down into details about, um, the Abrahamic religions, it was either on that page or I clicked on another page that had to do with Christianity, um, it basically said that Christians believe that God is split up into uh, three parts, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so I was, um, I was really confused and I was like, wait a second, like, um, I don't know what this is talking about. And so I went on the page for the Trinity, what I was talking about right now, um, and I learned that Christians actually do believe that, um, God is split up into three parts, and, um, that was just something really shocking for me as a Christian at that time, because what's kind of funny is the Trinity was never explicitly mentioned whenever I went to church, and we never grew up learning about, like, okay, kids, now we're going to teach the Trinity. That never happened for me. I learned all these different kind of Bible stories and things like that, and I learned that Jesus was God's son, and he was crucified, you know, all that, that kind of Christian stuff. But I never learned specifically about the Trinity, so when I grew up, I never grew up believing in it. And so I was just like, oh my gosh. It was just something that was just like this huge, huge part of Christianity I don't believe in at all. Like the a main doctrine of Christianity, like you have to believe that Jesus is part of God to be able to be saved. And, um, except for I'm pretty sure not Unitarians. I'm pretty sure Unitarians don't believe that. Um, but I was just like, oh my gosh, I've gone my whole life as a Christian and I haven't known this. And it was just something that was really surprising to me. And, um, I was talking with that same brother whose mother I saw, um, Brother Imran, who I've mentioned in uh, my videos a lot before, because he's my best friend, and, um, I was, I was just telling him, I was like, did you know, like, I was like, did you know that Christians believe that God is three parts? I, I was like, I can't believe I've gone my whole life and I haven't known this, and he just, like, was laughing, he's like, seriously, you didn't know that? And I'm like, oh my god, like, a Muslim knows more about my faith than I do, and I'm, I was just so surprised, and I just, like, remember that feeling of just, like, oh my god, because it's so weird, like, learning that something that you believed in, like, your whole life, you've just missed a whole part, and you just don't even believe in that. And so I was like, oh my gosh, and so after a while, I stopped identifying myself as a Christian. Um, I was actually at that time was, um, after that night I was researching Islam more, um, because there was a lot of different things that I saw intriguing on the Wikipedia page and things like that. Um, but I definitely wasn't thinking like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna become a Muslim. It was just kind of something that I was just researching and I was like, mm, okay, that's, that's interesting. But, um, I just, after a while, I stopped identifying myself as a Christian, and I started <laughs> identifying myself as, um, uh, I think, I forget what I call it now, but like, um, a Abrahamic theist or something like that, like a, like a non-specific religion Abrahamic theist, <laughs> like, I believe in the God of Abraham and stuff, but I don't really fit into 
you know, like Islam. I didn't know that much about Islam then, so I was like, no, I'm not Muslim. I'm not Christian. I don't believe in the Trinity. And I'm definitely not Jewish. Like, I believe in the prophethood of Jesus. And, um, so I was kind of just stuck somewhere. And so I started kind of looking more into, um, the different religions. So Christianity was off. Judaism was off because of the whole, um, don't believe in the prophethood of Jesus, even though I do think Judaism is, um, a lovely religion at the same time. And, um, I looked into that religion Baha'i or something. Um, I'm not sure how to say it, but it's like B-A-H-A-I with like some apostrophes in there and stuff. And I was like, okay, this was like made in like 1940 or something. Like, I'm, I don't know. I just don't think that that's good. And, um, that just put me off of that. And so the last one left, um was Islam, and so, yeah, I was researching that, and, um, like I've said before, the biggest thing with converting religions is grappling with the idea of shifting identities to something you, something you've identified with your whole life, and then all of a sudden everything changes. That's so hard to explain to somebody that that's never happened before. Um, and it's, it's, it's such a hard experience to try to relate to somebody else, but, um, so I was going through a lot of things within myself, questioning what I really believed and what I wanted and things like that. So the more I started researching Islam, the more I really came to like it, and the more that I saw in it. And it just made a lot of sense to me. Um, and I just, I think that, uh, I started researching in like, um, probably around March of, um, of 2010, I think 2010, yeah, yeah, um, sorry, March of 2010, and, um, then I officially decided, okay, I want to be Muslim in June of 2010, um, so, sorry, shifting, um, I just, it's so hard to explain how hard at first um, it was for me with the things in my family and stuff. My family just completely freaked out and of course things are still extremely hard now but it's a different kind of hard it's different than that first initial thing of going whoa oh my god they like just don't accept who I am anymore um, but now I've kind of come to terms to that with that and it's hard in different ways so I was going through all those things with my family and stuff and So, time progressed a little bit. Um, well, in June, I knew I wanted to become Muslim, but I wasn't ready to take my shahada. And so, time progressed a little bit. In November, um, on Thanksgiving, I went to my aunt's house, and um, we were having food and everything, and I had already stopped eating pork since, like, June. And so, um... There was, like, different dishes and stuff, and so I asked her. I wasn't sure about this one thing that I knew sometimes my family will put bacon in, and I wasn't sure. So I just, I, I was, like, kind of to my Aunt Cindy, Hey, um, Aunt Cindy, do you have, like, is there any, like, bacon or stuff, like, in there? Because, and then she's like, oh, um, she's like, no, I don't think so. Why, honey? And I was like, oh, I just, I just don't eat pork products, because I hadn't talked to my relatives, my extended family about it. Of course, my nuclear family 
knew um, all about it and were giving me hell for it and are still giving me hell for it but anyways so she I was like I was like yeah I, I just don't eat pork and so <laughs> I got my food and stuff and we sat down and um, we were eating and I took a bite of that dish that I had asked about and it did have bacon <laughs> And I, like, kind of just, like, put up my paper napkin and just kind of into my napkin and just, like, ugh, okay. <laughs> well, I didn't swallow it, but it was kind of, ugh. And so, um, and so I was, like, um, eh, but I wasn't 100% sure if it was, because there's some kind of meats that I get a little bit confused on, whether it's pork or not, and I'm surprised to find out that it isn't, um, like, I mean, like, when I'll be eating, like, certain kinds of turkey or something, it'll taste a lot like pork sometimes, um, which is weird. But, um, so anyway, sorry about that, um, I, so I asked her, I was like, um, Aunt Cindy, you, you, did you, did you put bacon in this? I was like, I just want to, like, make sure so that I know that it's not some kind of, like, other meat or something, and she's like, oh my gosh, honey, I'm so sorry, like, <laughs> loudly, <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, 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 it's okay, <laughs> like, because I didn't want to tell my family yet, and, um, she, she's like, she's like, oh, and then, of course, everybody else at the table is like, what's wrong, and she's like, I put pork in this and I forgot that Sarah doesn't eat it. <laughs> Sitting there and I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and they're like, and they're like, oh, okay. And they're kind of like looking at me. And so my, my, um, cousin Misty, she's like, so you don't eat pork? And I was like, oh no. And she's like, and she's like, are you Jewish? And like, well, what I like about how she asked that is that she didn't ask like, like immediately like, oh, so you're like converting away from Christianity. Like, she just like asked like it was normal. And so she's like, oh, are you Jewish? And I was like, no. <laughs> and she's like, um, and she's like, oh, are you? And then she pauses for a second and she gets this weird face. She's like, are you Muslim? And I'm like, yeah, and she's, and everybody's sitting at the table like, <laughs> just like staring at Thanksgiving dinner, and, um, uh, yeah, it was, it was awkward, <laughs> and, um, so, I, we started getting into a big discussion about religion, and everybody started asking what it happened. And, um, my mom kind of, um, was trying to stick in her jabs, and she's like, Oh, yeah, but what about, what about Muslims being terrorists and stuff like that? You know, the whole, the whole thing. And so, uh, she, um, and so... Um, my family was like, you know, like, I don't really, like, I don't think bad about Muslims. And my mom is just kind of like, <laughs> um, they're like, yeah, you know, like, my aunt was like, I think that there's a lot of different ways to heaven. And I think that, um, God really is very merciful, which is true. God is very merciful. And, um, and she's like, and so they were, like, asking me questions and stuff, like, genuinely. They weren't just like, oh, yeah, come on, Jesus, like, what are you doing? Believe in Jesus or else you're going to the bottomless pits of hell, you know, that kind of whole spiel that I have to deal with every day. And so, um, it was, like, it was just so amazing to me. And they were like, wow, that's really interesting and stuff. And, like, even my grandma, who I figured would, like, freak out, was like, oh, yeah, okay. And I was like, oh. <gasps> was amazing and um so that night I decided I was officially ready to take my shahada I was like oh my gosh I'm so ready I was like I'm ready to do this and so um 
I was planning on taking it in December, which is actually what you guys saw for um, my first video and that I said that I was planning on taking my Shahada, but it actually didn't happen until a lot later. Um, and so I was ready to take my Shahada that whole time, and I was kind of grappling with the feelings of um, how to do it the way that I always imagined. And of course, um, I was growing more and more into Islam, and I think it's really good that I actually had a while to grow into Islam and to make sure that I wasn't just getting that initial convert, like, oh my gosh, gotta convert, gotta convert, you know? Because um, sometimes people can just jump into things way too quickly. And um, so, of course, by the time I took my Shahada this um, past August 11th of 2011, um, I was officially sure that I wanted to take my Shahada, and so I did, and it was just a very great experience. Um, and so now I'm just trying to get by day by day with the whole family thing, and um, uh, the rest of my family is very supportive. Um, my dad's side of the family, we don't really talk about it, because they know, but they're... I don't think they're very into it, but my mom's side of the family, very supportive, which is very surprising. Um, I would actually think that it would be more of the other way around, but, um, so that was something that was really good, but, um, so trying to learn Salah, I know three surahs, <laughs> which I'm very proud of, um, but... Of course, I have to learn more to be able to do Salah on a regular basis, and I'm trying to do so, inshallah. Um, so, that is my conversion story of how I came to Islam. If you would like to ask questions about it, or you want to know a little bit more details about something, I could possibly make a video that's a couple minutes more with about you guys' questions about things. And, um, I will be willing to do that for you, and, um, hope, hopefully, inshallah, we can do that as soon as possible, and, um, I'm actually going to be making a video about different questions, um, next, and not just about my conversion story, um, so stay tuned, inshallah, um, so, I'm sorry about this long video, I'll probably have it broken up into a couple parts so that you guys aren't getting exhausted with how long this video is. Um, cause I definitely understand getting exhausted with long videos. So I'm going to wrap this up. Thank you guys. Please comment, question, and subscribe. Oh, and message me. Um, I'll try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can get to a computer. Um, and so, thank you to all my subscribers. I always make do love for you guys, because I really appreciate you. And please make do love for me that my family situation will get better, and that my family will come to accept my decision and let me practice freely as a Muslim. Uh, so, thank you, you guys. As always, um, that was my conversion story. And I am Sarah. You also know me as the Fetal Search. Assalamu alaikum.